Today let's see how we can add hair or fur on objects. So here I got sphere, so select the sphere, come to this particle properties, click on this plus icon and change this to hair. Now you can see we got hair here. So number of particles indicates this number of hair. So let's increase this to 2000 and hair length I will reduce this to 0.5. So this much is fine. Hair segments I will increase this to 6. So the more number of segments the smoothness will increase here. Let's enable this hair dynamics. So if I play this now, the hair particles will fall down. If you are not enable this hair dynamics, we won't get this proper simulation. So make sure to enable this hair dynamics and come to this children options, enable this interpolation mode so that we get maximum number of particles here. Enable this interpolation mode. So after that, if you want to increase the length or decrease the length, you can do it here also. So I will change this to here and come to this clumping and expand this clumping here so that we get some clumping at the edges and I think this is fine and if you want to increase the roughness or if you want to increase the kink in kink type we get the preset so if I click on this we will get this curl so it will be curl and if I change this to wave this will change to wave so depending upon your choice you can select the presets I will change this to nothing only and hair shape this and all strand shape everything this is self explanatory and field weight if you don't want to have gravity acting on the particles you can reduce this to zero so we'll leave the gravity to one so once we are happy with the fur let's animate this uh, sphere so press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe for location so i got a keyframe here now let's move this here and come 50 frames forward so let's move it here press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe now move 100 frames forward in timeline and let's bring our sphere here and again press I on the keyboard and let's move to 170 frames and let's bring our sphere here and add a keyframe here. So now we have added keyframes and in order to get the proper simulation we need to bake the simulation. So come to this catchy options. Here you can see we got this simulation start and end 1 to 250 right. Here I only want the simulation to be like 200 frames so I will change this to 200 frames. And after that just click on this bake button so here the bake is done and if i play this now you can see we got our fur animating according to the movement of our sphere so in this way we can add fur or hair on objects easily